Well, the Tour de France can't be won between Arras and Roubaix, but it could well be lost. Of the 156.5 kilometres to cover, a whopping 21.7 will be over the 15 cobbled sectors. There are five winners of Paris-Roubaix in the peloton. Nicky Terpstra, John Zagenkob, Matthew Heyman, Greg Van Avermaet and Peter Sagan. But they won't be the only ones gunning for glory. Well, the riders had been gearing up for this mini Hell of the North long before the tour started and it was a frantic start to the stage. There was a major GC casualty shortly after a group of 10 riders that got away at the front. Disaster for BMC leader Richie Port, forced to abandon after crashing heavily. He was later taken to hospital where they suspected broken collarbone. Bitter disappointment for the Australian who also quit the tour on stage nine last year. The breakaway getting to the first of 15 cobbled sectors and some strong riders in there as well. Thomas de Ghent, Omar Frail and Chad Hager. A couple of early issues for the AG2R leader Roman Bardet. Frenchman had to change his bike not once but twice after a series of mechanicals. That's where Dylan Grunewagen, the winner of stages seven and eight, went to ground, as did Sky's Egan Bernal. A big spill causing a split in the peloton. Sky choosing to put the hammer down at the front and pulling away with Van Avermaet and Sagan. Vincenzo Nibali, Rigoberto Urana and Adam Yates left behind in the second group. Terpstra, the 2014 Paris-Roubaix winner, was the next man to hit the deck. He finished over 16 minutes down. A couple of escapees struggling to keep up here, Nicola Ede and Jérôme Cousin. With 50 kilometers to go, the gap to the breakaway was down to around 90 seconds. And the Mayo Jean himself attacking after the seventh cobbled sector. His teammate TJ Van Garderen losing time after a crash. Bardo with yet another puncture. The last men standing in the break, Damian Gordon and Reinhard Janse van Rensburg are caught with 33k to go. Movistar and Education first, also limiting their time losses for Mikkel Lander and Rigoberto Uran. The decisive move came in the penultimate cobbled section. Belgian road race champion Yves Lompert attacking, taking Van Avermaet and Degenkolb with him, two former Paris-Roubaix winners. Chasing pack not reacting quickly enough, and the leading trio soon had a 30-second advantage. Yet another puncture for Bardet, meanwhile, but he only lost a handful of seconds. A game of cat and mouse in the final kilometre, but Degenkolb simply had too much power for the others. After finishing second on six occasions, he finally has a stage win at the Tour. Pure delight for Dagenkorp then, but this night's stage was an emotional roller coaster for BMC. The Americans kept hold of the yellow jersey after another fine performance from Van Avermaet. That's now seven days in a row for the Olympic champion. But on the other, they lost their leader. And they'll now have to gear up for the mountain stages without Richie Port, who was understandably distraught to have to quit on stage nine yet again. Pure happiness. Really, I'm, uh, I was I was chasing this victory so long, and uh, yeah, it's it's really hard to describe. Everybody said uh, I'm done. I'm after this accident. I will never come back. And uh, it's uh, I said no. I'm not done. I have to bring at least one big, one really big victory. Well, Takenkop now has at least one stage win at all three Grand Tours after coming in ahead of Van Avermaet and Lampert. Philippe Gilbert, Pip and Peter Sagan to fourth place, but the Slovak remains in green. Van Avermaet has 43 seconds over Sky's Geraint Thomas overall. Gilbert up to third. Alejandro Valverde goes fifth, a minute and 31 seconds off the pace. After a well-deserved rest day in Annecy on Monday, the tour resumes with a first real mountain stage on Tuesday. The climbers will tackle the all-category Plateau de Glière, six kilometres at over 11%, as well as three Category 1 cols, the Coiffry, Rome and the Colombier, before a downhill run into Le Grand Bonin. It won't be one for the faint of heart. Thanks for watching, enjoy the rest day and do join us again on Tuesday.